Hi Carrie, I'm just going to show you real quick how to do, to like track the visiting teaching like the thing I sent you. So it's super simple. So all you would do is you come into Google Drive and then you would just hit create. And so you could use like, uh, I know the Relief Society already has a Gmail address set up, which means they have a Google account. And so you could just use that account. And you just come in here and you say create form. And so you just create a quick form, like you can call it whatever, you can make it cute, whatever. And then you just come in here and put a question, say blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm going to show you one I already created, so I don't, you don't have to go through the whole thing. So this is the one I sent you. Did you do your visiting teaching in January is what it's named. So visiting teaching in January, I created a text box, and I said it's required. So they have to type their name. Did you do your visiting teaching in January, yes or no? You can edit it. It's required. Then... These, do you have any concerns? I made it a paragraph text so they could type whatever, and it's not required. And this one, is there anything else you need to know? Not required. So I did that. And then all I did is I just clicked allow responders to edit responses after submitting. So if they wanted to come back and edit it, that's totally fine. But um, then you can click a theme, you can choose a theme, whatever. That's only if they open it. They can answer it right from their email, which is super nice. They don't even have to go to a website. And then um, view live form, so you can just view it to see what it will look like as you're creating it. And it's cool. So, and then all you do is you can click send form. form anyways and then so basically you could have from the Relief Society email it could be everyone is in one group we quickly create a group and then you would just type that group's name and boom it would send it to everybody and you want to check this it says include form in email and that means that makes it put the form in the email so they can respond to it right there and then you just click send and that's it and then all the responses go to this one, well I had showed this to the elders too because they were wondering, that's why I thought of this. So basically as people put it in, it just comes into a spreadsheet that's under the same account. So that's how you would view it. So you would just see when they did it, name, did they do it, yes, if they have anything else, whatever. So whatever your questions are, those are the responses. So it's super simple. I think that's all the questions you have. But yeah, you just come into your Google Drive and you do that real quick. So. My opinion is, it, I think it would be so awesome, and my other opinion is, I know it's like, well, that's the visiting teaching supervisor's job, but I feel like their job, sh I mean, this is just my opinion, obviously, but I feel like their job should be more like, you know, the beginning of the month, hey, here's the message of the month, just a reminder to do it this month, and maybe do something in the middle of the month, like, make it more of a happy thing, instead of just at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month, hey, did you do your visiting teaching last month, whatever, you know? So then they're not worried so much about that, and they're more just, it's a happier thing. So obviously, totally my opinion, you don't have to use this, but it really would be super simple. And so you just have everyone's email addresses in the Gmail you already have for the Corte Sierra Relief Society, and just, you know, send it out at the beginning of every month, and... You know, the people that don't respond to it, then yeah, the supervisors have to call them. But if people get used to it, I think people would really love it. And I know everyone has email, so my opinion, it's awesome. So, anyway, so I hope you understand what I just said. But if you have any questions, let me know.